Which type of luggage you choose depends on your destination and style of travel. For some trips, a backpack offers greater convenience. Sometimes a suitcase is the better option. This Backpack VS Suitcase Pros and Cons video is designed to help you decide which type of luggage is better suited for your trip. Both hands are free. This is the biggest benefit in my opinion. While wearing a backpack, you can use both hands to carry other gear, use your phone, eat, drink, pay for stuff, etc. All while on the go. It's really convenient being able to use both hands at a time instead of having to stop and set down your suitcase when you need to do something. Backpacks allow you to move over uneven terrain more easily. You can literally hike over mountains and ford rivers while wearing your backpack. You can also easily walk up and down stairs. Roller suitcases only function properly on smooth floors. Even on normal sidewalks, they have trouble rolling. Mine flips over if it hits a tiny crack. It's incredibly annoying. Forget about cobblestone streets. If you still want to have the ability to roll your luggage, you can choose a wheeled backpack. Rolling backpacks offer the best of both worlds. Backpacks are healthier to carry. A good backpack distributes the weight over your hips, back, and shoulders. If properly fitted, a quality hiking backpack allows you to safely walk for miles and miles without injury. Suitcases, on the other hand, just use a single handle doesn't distribute the weight. You're also carrying all of the weight on one side of your body which puts unhealthy pressure on your back and hips. It's much easier to injure your back. You can walk further with a backpack while traveling. I often walk many miles while wearing my backpack. The suspension system technology is surprisingly comfortable and makes walking around easy and comfortable. Long walks aren't really possible with a suitcase. Backpacks are more durable. Most people use hiking backpacks for travel. These are designed to be used outdoors, left in the rain, and carried for miles at a time through rugged terrain. They are incredibly durable and will most likely outlast the suitcase of the same quality. I still travel with the same backpack that I bought for my first trip abroad. I've been using it for 8 years and it's still going strong. Backpacks are more secure. Your belongings are attached to your body when you wear a backpack. You don't have to worry about someone grabbing your suitcase and running away with it when you set it down. Backpacks are lighter because they are meant to be carried. Manufacturers use lightweight materials to keep the weight as low as possible. Backpacks also don't have rigid frames, wheels, or collapsing handles that add weight. An ultralight backpack weighs less than 2 pounds, around a kilo. This makes carrying your stuff easier and more efficient. You can carry more stuff on airplanes with a backpack because backpacks are lighter than suitcases. You can pack more without going over the airline weight limit. You can strap large items outside of your backpack. Most modern backpacks have straps on the outside that allow you to attach your jacket, water bottle, boots, etc. This greatly increases the volume of gear that you can carry. For example, I always travel with a tent. I usually strap it to the outside of my backpack because it's so bulky. Suitcases are pretty much limited to the interior volume. They are not expandable and you can't really strap stuff to the outside. Backpacks are harder to pack and unpack this is true for two reasons. First, backpacks have an odd shape, kind of like a tube. This makes packing certain items a bit awkward. It's difficult to efficiently utilize the space. Second, backpacks have a relatively small opening at the top for packing gear. There is one way in and one way out. If you want to access something at the bottom, you may have to remove everything above it first. This makes organization a bit challenging. To make traveling with a backpack easier, I recommend you look for a model with an opening at the bottom. Some travel backpacks have zippers all the way around so they open like a suitcase. Your clothes wrinkle easier in a backpack because of the odd shape of backpacks. You can't really fold clothes flat and lay them in. You have to get a bit creative when packing. The best solution is to roll your clothes. This helps to avoid wrinkles and allows you to fit more in the space that you have. Backpacks don't roll. Most suitcases these days have wheels so you don't have to carry the full weight of your luggage. This makes walking around airports and train stations a breeze. If you travel with a backpack, you always have to carry it on your back. There are exceptions. Wheeled backpacks available. If you want a rolling backpack, options are limited. Backpacks can damage your clothes with the straps constantly rubbing on your shoulders and the backpack sitting on your back. Fragile fabrics wear out faster. I've noticed pulling on some of my shirts where my backpack rests. You don't want to wear your Sunday best while traveling with your backpack. Backpacks can cause injury. You can injure your back, 
shoulders, neck, and hips. If you overpack or wear a backpack that doesn't fit properly, your body can only carry so much weight. As a rule of thumb, your backpack shouldn't weigh more than about 20% of your body weight anymore and you risk injury. If you have a bad back to begin with, you'll want to be particularly careful not to overpack. Travel backpacks are generally more expensive. A decent travel backpack costs over $100. They are tough to find used. You can buy a nice suitcase for half that. If you visit a thrift store, you can pick up a quality suitcase for much less. Of course, on the luxury end, suitcases are far more expensive than any backpack. Backpacks don't offer much protection for your belongings because backpacks are soft-sided. Your stuff can get banged up if you don't pack carefully. This is a problem when checking your bag for a flight. Baggage handlers toss bags around without any consideration for the contents. Suitcases at least have a bit of form. Most are built with rigid sides which help shield your belongings from damage. Of course, you can overcome this problem by only pack carry on. That way, we're the only person who handles your bag. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.